Divas, what's up, Divos? Girl, I'm back for another video. This one I'm really excited about. Like, I've been waiting all day to do this wig video, you guys. I've done two prior to this. You guys already know what I be saying. Save the best for last. Like, this is going to be the easiest video, wig video that I've done. Well, this is the third one, okay? But the longest part is probably going to be of me showing you the things that you can do with it, okay? With further ado, my first wigs, curly hair headband wig let me tell you guys okay i'm just gonna tell you the story real quick and then you guys will just take it from there the first time they asked me about doing a headband review i was just like no like who wants to wear a headband wig that's like no like i was like this is no it's not too cool but then i said you know like i said in the other two videos Maybe somebody else will like it. But girl, I love these headband wigs. I wear it every single day. Um, you know, it's just easy. You just throw it on. This is my third one. I have one from RPG Show, which I absolutely love too. These are the best things since sliced bread. This headband wig is everything, okay? Okay. Yeah, you probably be like, oh, can I do that with a half wig? You can, but... The headband wig, this right here, girl, lay so flat, it will look just like your own hair. So we just about to jump into this video real quick. I'm gonna show you how your wig comes because I got some other things to show you guys. And then we're gonna just take it from there. When you purchase your unit from My First Wigs, it will come in one of their new standard up-to-date boxes, which will state My First Wigs, quality wigs for beginners. You'll also receive some of the amenities that I'm going to be showcasing here. You will receive one of their storage unit bags which states their name and company logo. These bags are great for traveling with. You'll also receive an amenity bag which is this black and white pouch which will hold certain items such as clips and combs. You'll also receive with your unit one of their product description detail sleeves, a two-piece wig cap, and a wig stand. Inside the pouch will be their hairpins as stated and some clips to use to either clip your hair up for styling or just to keep out of the way. My First Wig's five year anniversary, they'll also be providing some of their scratch off cards. Maybe you'll be the lucky winner or you can save a discount. You'll also find in your unit packaging, one of their edge styling brushes and a rat tail comb. For an additional fee, you can purchase some of their wide headbands, such as their Aloha one, which is a floral Hawaiian themed print, a mustard yellow, heather gray, off-white, or burgundy wine. There's many more to choose from on their website. I love these headbands because they're great for camouflaging the back portion of your unit if you prefer to put it up in a ponytail or bun. The unit that I have is a 22 inch headband wig. And this one is their human hair curly headband wig in the HBW003 and is 100% virgin Malaysian hair. The headbands on these units are very stretchable and breathable and are easy to wash. As you can tell by the curls of this unit, this hair is very full. Make sure you check out My First Wigs as they have many different headband wigs to choose from along with lace wigs. And I'm pretty sure that you can find something there for you as well. I'll leave all of their information and link down below. Um, 
the first one that I did get from my first wigs, it did not have like the adjustable strap and the nape, but it still fit really good. And I like the cap construction of it as well as this. I just felt like the Velcro grips at the ends of the headband was just enough for me to just make it a little bit more snug. So you do have that option with it. And it has the comb standard, one in the middle, two on the sides, and the one in the nape. Once I received it, I did co-wash it and I used the Observer deep condition along with the thermal now, kit. It does come with some headbands. You can also purchase some other ones on my first wigs. They have a really nice selection. I like these headbands because they're nice and wide. So if you want to pull the hair up in the back and the nape and put in like a bun or ponytail, this will camouflage the back. You can always check the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree do have some really nice ones, depending on which one you know you go to. You probably have to go to a couple. That's what I was thinking. I got this one the other day, and it's just a thin one. It's thin in the back, so you really couldn't pull your hair up if you wanted to. So I did buy two, just in case I wanted it to be extra wider. Snake print one, kind of funky gold kind of color one. Floral print. Did get those from the Dollar Tree. So I went to my daughter's job, which is Airy, which is sister company to American Eagle. And they had a nice clearance. They always have some good clearances. 70% off, girl. But the headbands were 70% off. One was like $5. Blue, cotton blue, very nice, soft material. One in plaid, a rose color, which is very pretty. This is like a corduroy type of material it's supposed to be, but to me it feels like a velour or whatever, and a gray one. A Hawaiian print for one to tie in the front. You can get headbands just about anywhere. Just wanted to give you guys some ideas. So now we're going to put this wig on real quick and see how cute she comes out. All right, you guys. So as you see, I'm just going to take the combs and place them kind of inside or on top of the braid. And I'm going to take the Velcro strips, which is part of the headband, and just fasten that in the back. It's really that simple, it's easy to wear, and if you have any type of thin edges or you're just really insecure or concerned about your edges, you can always pull the headband to the front, or like I like to do, fold it over so that way my natural hairline can show. I'm just going to spray a little bit of this hair filler fibers, which is by Boldify. And I'll leave the information down below, but it's great for thin edges or any type of balding spots. This hair is actually beautiful. It's 22 inches and very full and super easy to put on. Now we're going to jazz it up with one of the headbands that I did receive, which is this gorgeous mustard yellow one. It's definitely going to match my outfit of the day. And as you guys seen, I kind of left the wideness of the headband. I left it over my hairline, but you can also change it up by folding it over and giving yourself just a little more breathing room for your hairline during these hot summer days. The wig is super versatile and definitely CC friendly, which is cool and cute in the summer heat. Now, if you want to just add a little bit of extra style or you don't want any of that hair on your shoulders or back, you can definitely take a hair tie. These are the ones that come in a six pack and they're actually headbands. I just cut them open and I just wrap them around. It's a lot easier versus pulling your hair through. And then if you want, you can take some of your hair and just wrap it over. You guys see for the back, you can definitely camouflage that with a wide headband. Now you have yourself a nice, cool and cute summer friendly ponytail. This is just one little styling option you could do. You can put it up in a high ponytail or low ponytail. You'll have a nice wide headband to cover the back. I just use the elastic headbands that you can get like in a pack of six at the Dollar Tree. And I just cut them open and I just use that to tie around. I find it much easier to just tie it around versus keeping to pull your hair and through. You can also put it in a bun as I've showed this on both of my other two headband wig videos. I like this hair. It's so pretty and soft. And you can just take it and wrap it around a couple of times. Hairpins. So this is definitely nice and full. I like this one. Like, okay, I like all three of them. These are my favorite wigs by far. Like, listen, let me tell y'all. Be like 117 degrees out here, okay? Security! And ain't nobody got time to be having some lace wig glued or hairspray to their hairline. Like, you know, you start sweating up here, then your lace be lifted, you be outside thinking you cute and your lace done lifted. That is not cute, okay? Okay. It just makes you much more harder when you have something glued or 
just on your hairline right here. This is where you get some air at. So wearing a headband wig is so much easier than just sitting there and wiping away the sweat and checking your wig lace to make sure that it looks presentable. You don't even have to put your makeup on. You don't even have to blend it. You can just throw this bad boy on and go out the door. I'm not about to sit here and die over no lace wig. Like, ooh, child, this is a bit much, okay? I mean, this is so nice and full and look, you don't even have to wear it all the way down. I like to wear them both ways. I have been wearing nothing but the headband wig since I got my first one. Trust me when I tell y'all. Get you, anybody can do this. A beginner, a toddler. You just put the wig on, okay? Anything else? But girl, y'all definitely will have to check out my first wigs. They have some really nice headband wigs, y'all. They got some nice wigs in general. I will definitely link all of the new headband wigs that I have down below. I got three in the collection, girl, and I am going to be rocking them until the wheels fall off, or at least the tracks. I love you guys. Stay Diva and Divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, as y'all should do, because this is like a really good wig, okay? Share it, leave a comment, and let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe in the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.